All right, everybody, you've made it to day 24 in cycles. I hope you're ready for a high intensity day. I definitely am, at least right now I am. You need a set of kind of mid heavyweight dumbbells. I have 20s. We're gonna be going complex training, so a set of plyometric work followed up by the same move and pattern, but a weighted set. Um, it's gonna definitely be hitting and targeting the legs today. So let's start in a downward facing dog. Press into your hands, get your butt up in the air, slide your shoulder blades down, bend both knees, press back, get your butt up, make sure you get that butt up, and then keep your butt up while you slowly drop your heels to the ground. And then again, drop both knees or bend both knees, push the chest toward the thighs, trying to keep your upper body super still, just straighten your legs. Bring your left leg now up and outside your left hand. Drop the right hip down toward the ground. Push that left leg back. Same thing on the other side. Right leg forward. Drop those hips toward the ground. And then bring your right leg back. Let's walk our feet to hands, hands to feet. Hang over those legs a second. All right, come on up. Bring your right leg into the chest, hold deep and tight, and then rotate your ankle. And then let's go into the other side, tuck it in, rotate around. All right. We're gonna do a couple of our moves, just body weight and slow, no jumping. Remember, if you don't jump, so we're gonna start with um, a curtsy lunge. So just drop back, tap to the ground, set your feet. Other side. If you don't jump today, don't worry about it. Just go as fast as you can without jumping, whatever works for your body, and pace with us. Okay, let's hit up a couple squats. We'll go wide, toes out, sink those hips down, press up, drop in and down. Hitting a little bounce there at the bottom, why not? Okay, so we're going to hit up 10 touchdowns, five curtsy lunges per side. Then we're going to have 10 gate swings, five sumo squats with the um, dumbbells. And then we're going to go Mary Catherine. So let's hit up a lunge. 10 Mary Catherines per side. It's a jump lunge. Line those knees and toes. This is a great opportunity to just check in what's going on with the legs. See what they're going to want and be ready for today. Then a lunge. Then we're going to do a double mountain climber. Both knees will jump in to your hands. We'll keep the shoulders up over the wrists. So right now, sticking with our just little warm up round, walk your feet and then walk back. But eventually we'll be jumping both of them in. Then we'll drop onto our elbows and we'll hit up a body saw. Chest will be back and then we're gonna hover forward. We're gonna take these nice and slow. These ones uh, seem to go fast for a lot of people a lot of times. All right, while we're here, go ahead and hit up a child's pose. And then we're gonna go back into that forearm plank. Let's hit a super slow set of TikTok planks. Drop your right hip down, pull to the middle, left hip down, pull to the middle. Right hip, think about those shoulders staying in place. Think about keeping the core strong. <sighs> to the left. One more per side. To the right. And to the left. All right. Here we go. Let's go ahead and get started. I kind of have no idea how long or how many um, sets we're going to get through. My goal is to try to push my uh, intensity and my transitions through one entire set and then take a little break at the end of the set before we hit it up again, all right? So use this first round, warm up round, totally fine. Here we go, touchdowns, 10 per side. Dropping those hips, lining that front knee and toe, exploding off the front leg. nine and ten okay we'll grab those 20s 
or whatever you chose. And we're gonna hit up a static lunge. Two, only five per side. Three, four, five. Drive through that front heel. Bring your body up, switch it over. Drop it in. Push off that front heel and five, okay? Now we'll hit up our jump lunges, 10 per side. Try to drop that back knee all the way to the ground. Eight, nine, 10. Nice job. All right, static lunges. Hips squared off. Feet hip width. Four and five. Drive through that front heel, engaging the glutes. Get the body up. And five. All right, gate swings. I'm really gonna focus on range. Knees open and wide. Drop those hips all the way to the ground. Eight, nine, 10. Okay, heart rate's coming up. It's starting to build. Toes are out slightly, knees super wide. These shouldn't be rushed. Slow and controlled too. Sit on those heels, engage through those thighs. Try to hold the chest as high and tall as you can. All right, then we have our double climbers and body saw. Tuck both knees in. Of course, keeping the hips tucked, plank position. Okay, here we go. Hover forward as far as you can, and then back. Tuck in through those glutes. The more that I engage my glutes, the more that I feel the core working hard, staying in the spot it needs to. So really here, think about the core is pushing you forward and pulling you back. Five, all right. Drop onto those knees, bend your hips back. There's one round. Take a little break. Pushing our intensity for the round and then allowing it to recover. That's what we want. All right. Back to the top. Touchdowns. Here we go, 10 per side. Seven, ten. Okay, five per side, weighted. Focus that push, front leg. The weight selection you chose should feel it but it shouldn't get you too toasted to be able to push into your next exercise. All right, jump lunges. Eight, 
Whew. Static lunges. Use the core. As you fatigue, it's easy to let that go. We're breathing heavy, but try to find it. Hold on to it. Hinge over that front leg just a bit. So you get that work through the glute. Gate swing. Eight, nine, ten. Sumos. Whew. Inner thighs, glutes. Drive off those heels. Four. I was rushing it. Five. Feel those thighs under load. Double climbers. Then our saw. Still feeling your quads and glutes here. Locking in. Flex that core. Four. Tuck, 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 hold, hold, hold. Make sure your hips, five, are not popping up and down. Okay, get a little hip flexor this time. Slide in, tuck under. Perfect. Feeling the heat, feeling the heat. All right. A couple more seconds. We want to let that recovery happen. We could push in, but we might get a little sloppy on our next round. This is one of the toughest things for a lot of my clients, as much as you might not believe me, and myself included. Force the self the body to take a second and recover. All right, here we go. Touchdowns. <sighs> 10. Find that heel, plant it into the ground. Lots of hinge into that front hip. Five. You're pushing off front heel. That's your drive point. Two, three, four, five. Mary Catherine's. Ten. Ooh. Those add it. Square off. A little more forward lean for me. Sitting back too much. Four, 
and five. But I definitely need to find those squared off hips. If you get your knees wide enough and then hips low enough, your inner thighs be screaming on those gate swings. Two. Dig into those heels. Five. Double climbers. Body still. Slide forward. Slide back. One. Two. Three. Four. We got it. We got it. Oh, man. Take your break. The quad stretch here. Doing great. Feeling that build. Heart rate, leg heat. Good job. Three sets in. Feeling good. Let's stand up, check in, see how we feel. Appreciate your breaks. Okay, three, two, and go. Ten. Drive through. That glute, four, five. If you can find a way to really feel like you're pulling that butt cheek back, opening it up to get it to fire, and five. May have been six, but oh well. Here we go, jump lunges. Try to find those glutes and hamstrings. Feet stay hip width. Ten. Whew. Open chest, locked up core, squared off hips. swings, open the gate, and then shut it up. <clears throat> Wide angle, open chest. Tall back, 
Strong core. Three. At the bottom, see if you can keep the chest from dropping forward. When you hit that first drive and push up. All right, here we go. Tuck, contract. See if you can hold your exhale a little bit because that'll help you also get a little deeper awareness of the core. Feeling that flex there. Oh. Grab a little second, four sets down, doing great, doing great. Switch it up, taking a break, recovering, grabbing little stretches, fantastic. Don't hold anything too awfully long. I think we can fit two more in. All right, that's the choice I've just made. Two more sets. Sit back on your toes, curl the toes under, stretch through the bottoms of your feet. Okay, let's come up. Check in. Three, two, here we go. Four. Got it, got it. Come on, drop those hips. Ten. <clears throat> okay, your weighted curtsy. Two, three, four, five. <sighs> Line it up. Three, four, five. Okay, jump lunges. Good old Mary Catherine's. Find your core, keep it going. Nine, ten. Okay, those legs are feeling heavy. That's the second time I get to seven, and I feel like I didn't count six. <laughs> so I gotta make sure. Those are so tough by this point. One. Oh, slow down, Kelly. Slow down. Two. Three. 
four. We're holding that split second in the front and on the back. Oh. Settle. Let that lactic acid flush. One to go. Let's hit up a little yogi squat. Okay, big finish coming up. Give it all you got. Okay, touchdowns. Ready, set, and go. Don't back off. Big, big push set. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Open chest. Focus that glute. Five. Woo. Two. Five. All right. Keep those Mary Catherines. Try to get your range. Come on. Oh, that was a fight. That was a fight. Five, four, three, two, and one. Find traction, front heel, back toe, five. All right, let's see if I can count these right this time. Three, four, five, six. Noodle legs. Fight for core. More core. All right. Last little piece. Find that body so connect two flex your glutes three you should be at the point that you are pissed these are not already done four five oh Just relax. Puppy dog pose right here. Hands are forward. Knees are on the ground. Heads on the ground. Good recovery pose. All right. Whew. Okay, let's start with a little inner thigh stretch. Bring your right leg out. Sit back until you feel the best 
hamstring, inner thigh, groin stretch you like. So play around with your positioning, right? If you don't really feel a stretch, adjust a couple things, right? So digging your hip down, grabbing a little through the quad, shifting through the shoulders and the torso, that'll change up a lot of things. All right, bring your right leg forward. Stay into a narrow lunge. We're gonna tuck our back hip under and then see if you can grab your toe. Tuck your hips. Lift the chest. Feel that quad stretch. So keep tucking the hips here like this one. I don't feel too much unless I have my belly button pulled back and my tailbone tucking under. You're almost pushing the pelvis forward, but not tipping it, right? So you have to almost tilt it back first, then drive it forward. Okay, release that leg. We're gonna drop on in, take that front leg forward. Rotate your back left hip over and down. And bring it back up. Curl your back toes under. Lift your thigh. Both hands inside the right leg, or you can drop onto your elbows, letting the right leg open out to the side just a bit. Keep that back leg strong. And again, remember, you can take your little movements and adjustments, change-ups. Okay, press it up. Let's get that hamstring. Toes come up. Chest reaches forward. Pull those toes back if you can. If you can't reach your toes, don't worry about it. Maybe you need a wall or a bench or something to hold on to. Reach forward. Just feel that pull. Doesn't matter if you're way up here. All that matters is that you're getting the stretch. That's, that's what we need. Get the stretch in the right spot. Okay, we're going to switch it up other side. So your left leg's going to come out away, straight away, 90 degree angle. Curl the back toes under. Sit back as far as your body likes. Make those adjustments, right? So if I kind of pull my hips, tilt my left hip down, pull my right hip up a little, and then kind of pull my kneecap up. That is my money stretch right there. Make adjustments. Don't settle. Get into that stretch and the muscle where you want it. Deep inhale and exhale. Okay, bring your left leg forward. We're going to stay in that narrow lunge first drive your hips so that they tuck right so tailbone tucks the front of your pelvis lifts pulls up belly button driving back see if you can grab that back leg it definitely helps if you have a wall or something to support onto but that front leg can also help tuck under lift the chest they call this the couch stretch because generally, uh, if you can get your foot back on the couch, then you can use that instead of your hands. Keep tucking and then release. Whew. All right, left leg drives forward. Plant your right hands, both hands. <laughs> Lift your right knee. Not a lot of uh, oxygen to the brain right now, I guess. Okay, if you can, drop onto your elbows. Maybe not both, maybe one. That's fine. Get that back. Quad to stay strong. Let your left knee drop away from your shoulder just a bit. Okay, drop your knee. Straighten the front leg. Hinge back. Pull those toes. Oh. Traction into the heel. So you're pushing into the heel, pulling back 
At the same time, that right hip is pulling forward, chest is pulling forward, dropping and lengthening. All right, both legs in, come into your yogi squat, sit the hips down, hands together, elbows inside the knees. Hopefully you can get your heels on the ground. If not, just lift your hips a little, close your eyes, and we'll go two rounds of our box breath. And then drive yourself up. Fantastic job. All right. Thanks for hitting a hit day with me. I'll see you again tomorrow.